Chateau Noir is one of several paintings Cezanne made of a neo-Gothic castle in his hometown, Aix-en-Provence in the south of France. Chateau Noir means black castle in French, and this nickname may come from the castle's ominous looking appearance. It does seem rather foreboding in this particular painting, but it looks much friendlier in some of his others. In Chateau Noir, we can see how Cezanne broke away from naturalism in a whole new way and didn't care for conventional perspective. It is impossible to determine the spatial relationship between the castle and the trees. There's a flattened effect, where these two elements seem to be directly on top of each other. The mountain is clearly in the background, but it's difficult to tell how far away it is. These details were simply not important to Cezanne, who cared more about painting deeper truths than he did about simply reproducing what he saw in front of him. Many of Cezanne's favorite artistic subjects, including the Chateau Noir, were located in the X area, where he spent much of his life. Did you know that it was Claude Monet who first purchased this painting of the Chateau Noir from Cezanne for his home in Giverny? Locked up after his death in 1906, and thankfully saved from redevelopment in the 1950s, this is the place where Cezanne painted many of his greatest works, and it is exactly as he left it. Objects recognizable from his work scattered around, but most of all an eerie sense that the man's presiding spirit is still here his coat and hook to the half-finished glass of wine, all dried up at the side table. There's many, many places all around the world where you can see Cezanne's paintings, but there's only one place where you can see Cezanne's object, which I'm going to inspire him to paint. The studio is not the only location to visit, however. There is plenty to absorb the art pilgrim here. Close to the studio is the hilltop where Cezanne repeatedly painted the local mountain, Mont saint victoire and further out of town is a real hidden gem, Bibimus Quarry, the place where the Romans dug out stone for the first city of Aix in 123 BC. In this peaceful place, with its soft angularities and weird geometries, Cézanne would set about changing the course of modern art forever. In 1839, on the 19th of January, Paul Cézanne was born in the south of France. He found himself filled with self-doubt as a young artist. And in 1885, Cezanne held his first one-man exhibition in Paris, and his reputation as an artist grew quickly. In the fall of 1906, after being caught in a storm while painting outside, Cezanne contracted pneumonia and passed away. Cezanne experienced self-doubt and depression throughout his career, but he carried on and became an influential artist whose work bridged the movement from Impressionism to Cubism.